Hello, peoples. I want to show you my process for getting an animated walking character that has facial expressions. Um, the process has to be pretty specific on the order of things, and I'll show you how I got it working. So I've made a character in Fuse that I want to use, and the next step is to set him up so that he's ready for auto-rigging and export the facial animations. So first step, I go over to the Customize tab, and I go to Legs, and I always just do this Legs Wide Slider. And as long as the legs are apart like that, and it's in the T-Pose, it just makes it a lot easier to get the Auto Rigger to detect them without having to drag and drop all the different manual rigging stuff. So uh, my next step... We're just going to export this guy as an OBJ, and this will be the walking demo. Okay, and this will just be my idle object. Okay, and this exports all the textures and materials that you need. And my next step is to do the different facial animations. So on the Customize tab, Click on face, and here's all your different sliders. So I'll make an angry guy. There we go. Export. Okay. It's Mr. Angry. And I'm exporting these with the legs wide so that they all line up. Okay, this is awkward. Export. Okay. Awkward. Okay. Cocky. Cocky. Bring that back. Confused. Export. Okay. Confused. All right, goofy. Export again. Just a couple more to go. There he is, happy. Okay, happy. And then worried. And then some extra ones, like, it'd be cool to, like, be able to open his mouth in any animation that we're playing. And then, I don't know if there is one, but if maybe eyes closed. Eyelids down. Uh Let's see. Eyelid down. Oh, no. That just makes him look tired. <laughs> eyes backwards, eyes forward, eyes big and small. Ah, uh, so that could be good. So, like, Big eyes and small eyes. Sure, why not? Okay. Export. Okay. Big eyes. And export. Okay, small eyes. Okay, so that's it for Fuse. And then if I hop over to the folder we, the folder we exported to. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff. And before I import all that into like Unity or whatever, 
I know that we can reuse most of the things that are just on the idle state, like we've got a lot of duplicated textures and that kind of thing. So if I sort it by type, we only really need the idle material. Okay, we definitely need all these OBJ files, because I'm going to combine them. We don't need the awkward textures. We don't need the angry textures. We don't need a lot of these all the way to, we just need idle. Okay. There we go. So we have the idle textures, the OBJ files, and the idle material. That's pretty much all I need. Okay, now I'll hop over into Moto, uh, restart it. Okay, so here we go. Starting in a fresh Moto, and I'm going to com combine all these objects to a single FBX. So, first thing we want to start with is the idle animation. Okay, import it. And it's going to browse for the materials. There we go. Models. Walking demo. There we go. And there's his idle face. So now we got it. Morph maps. New map. This will be idle. And then we just go through the different facial expressions. So we're going to make a new morph for awkward. Drag the awkward object to the scene. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Drag the mesh to our idle. Okay. And then that's the regular animation with the awkward morph selected. Now, for text map, background morph tool. There we go. Now we have the idle and the awkward morph. And I can close the awkward scene. At this point I should save it as this will be our before auto rig and it'll be an FBX. Okay, cool. And then just go on to the next one. So make a new map for angry. Bring the angry over. Okay. Yep. Select the normal mesh. Oh, get rid of the awkward, awkward mesh, bring over the angry mesh, okay? And now, with the angry morph selected, vertex map, background morph tool, click, spacebar drop the tool, and we no longer need the angry extra mesh, and we have idle, angry, awkward, Great, and close the angry animation, save it, and next one. All right, big eyes, big eyes. Okay, drag and drop it over here, import it, bring the mesh over here. Okay, done with big eyes. Woohoo, okay, select the mesh, select big eyes morph, vertex map, Background morph tool. There we go. Get rid of the extra mesh. Next one. All right, cocky. Bring over cocky. Okay. New map. Cancel that. Click on the target mesh. New map. Cocky. Okay, so that's the cocky pose. Click on our idle. Click on cocky. Vertex map, background morph tool, click. There we go. I've got idle, cocky, big eyes, angry, awkward. Close down cocky, delete the extra mesh, save it. Looking good. All right, now we can do confused. So, confused. 
bring over the confused object. Okay. Confused drag and drop onto our scene. Okay, it gets the second scene in there. And I can go click on confused. Click for text map. Background morph tool. Click. Great. No longer need the extra mesh. Don't need the other scene. Save it. Cool. All right. Goofy. Goofy. Bring it over. Whoa. All right. Bring the mesh into our auto rig. Before the auto rig. All right. And then there it is. And just select Goofy. Vertex map, background morph tool, click. All right. And now we have that morph map. Delete the extra mesh. Close the Goofy object. There we go. Few more to go. All right, this will be the happy morph. Bring over happy. Bring happy into our for auto rig. Okay, click on our happy morph vertex vertex map background morph tool. Click. Okay, done with the extra mesh. Done with the happy scene. Save it. Okay, we already have an idle. This time mouth open. So we want a new morph. Mouth open. Great. Okay, bring in the object. Okay. Bring the mesh over to our before auto rig scene. Okay. Click on Mouth open for the morph. Vertex map, background morph tool, click. Excellent. Done with the extra mesh. Done with the mouth open scene. Save it. Okay, small eyes. New map, small eyes. Bring over small eyes. Okay. Bring the mesh into our scene. Okay. Click on the morph. Small eyes. For text map. Background morph tool. Click. Done with the extra mesh. Close the small eye scene. Save it. All right, now we need word. So, new map, word. Bring over worried into the scene. Okay. Bring the mesh into our scene. Okay. Click on the worried morph. For text map, background morph tool. Click. Done with the extra mesh. And done with the worried object. Save the scene. And now we have all these different morphs set up. And we can do the auto rigging step next. This time we've got the whole body. And it's about to get auto rigged so we can do some animations and still keep these blend shapes. Okay, so at this point we've already saved it and we have the for auto rig. We can go over to the Mixamo website Upload a character. There we go. Upload a file. Browse over here. Details. All right, so we've got before auto rig. We're going to open that. It's uploading the character. It's going to process for a while. It'll do the auto rig. Okay. Now, because of the way I've 
I did the FBX, I could have probably zipped up the, uh, the textures to go with them. But, okay, so rig, uh, looks like we have to do it anyways. Okay, use symmetry, put the chin. The wrists, the elbows, the knees, groin. Okay, preview that. Okay, it's done auto rigging. Yeah, looks good. And we're going to have a walking standard walk. Here we go. Okay, looks decent as he's walking. And one thing that you can't see here that we're going to have is we'll be able to adjust his face while he's walking with the blend shapes. So I hit finish. I just want to download him. Okay, click on the item we want. This is before auto rig. In the T pose, we want FBX for Unity. Download that. We're going to put it over here. Save file. Okay. Walking demo. This is after walking dude, after auto rig. Okay, save that. Okay, now we have the walking dude after the auto rig, and we're ready for Unity. Okay, it's going to import. All those textures and objects and FBX files. All right, so I'm going to do a new layout here. Okay, so we're going to need some stuff, and I'm going to need the Mixamo store. Dock that. And if I hop into so word detection models. Walking demo. There's before auto rig. Walking dude after auto rig. And we can drag drag that to selected auto to selected character. Okay. And now we can just pick some animations. So standard walk. And then you just hit the buy button. Okay, that'll automatically open up the asset store. Just the animation and auto download it. And eventually I'll get an import dialog. Now, while that's running, I can do a couple more while I'm waiting. So, probably do a jump. Like they're jumping over things. Okay, I was thinking about that in place jumping. It's lots of jumping. Jump. Jump. Yeah. Okay. So you pick the animation you want. Hit the buy button. Wow. Okay, and then it eventually imports. Jumping down, that's pretty cool. Okay, and then we also wanted the walk. Which was the standard walking.
Oh, start walking, I see. Okay, that says jumping down. Standard walk. There we go, standard walk. Okay, so there's a couple of different animations. Now, okay, so I've got jump in place, jumping down, and a standard walk. And I want to bring these up to, I'll make sure I have the folder open here. So I want to drop them in animations up here. Okay, animations. So it prefixes with the name of the model. And we're done with the Mixmo store. Now I need to make a new animation controller. So new animation controller, walking dude. Okay. Walking dude uh, animation controller. Okay. And find him. So the walking dude after auto rig, drag it to the scene. Looks pretty big. There we go. Click on the camera. Camera can't see him. So this say game object. Align with view, and that'll put the camera right where I'm looking. And then I like to add a directional light. I can do the same thing to the directional light. Align with view, and now it's aimed right at the guy. Or the walking dude. Okay, now we want to animate him. So if we go to the window, animator, dock it over here so we can see him. Okay, so we want the walking dude after auto rig, and he needs his, his animation controller. So walking dude, animation controller. Okay, and now this is up, and I can say, okay. I want him to do a standard walk, and then he can jump in place, and then do his cape jump down, and then go back to the walk. Okay, so he starts in any state, goes to the standard walk, goes to the jump in place, goes to the cape jump down, and then back to the any state. Oh, back to the uh, the walk. Okay, and I can set this up kind of like a triangle. Comes in, goes to here, goes to here, and then comes back. Okay, so now if I hit play, he jumps, he walks, he jumps. Let's uh, turn off the maximize and play so we can see the states. So any state, click on the walking dude, there we go. He's jumping in place. For whatever reason, it's not going to the state up here. Interesting. All right, just skin. Yeah, delete that. Okay, so walking dude, jump in place. Let's see what I'll do from there. So he jumps, he walks, then he does the cape jump down. From the cape jump down, then he goes back to a walk. Okay. Like that. Walking, jumping. Not exactly sure why he is getting stuck like that, but that's not so important. Um, I also wanted to do the facial expressions while he's doing his thing. So we can click on the character and expand that and click on the mesh. And now it has all of our blend shapes. 
So, the blend shapes run from 0 to 100. There we go. And if I could do something like I could put the camera on his face. That's funny. I thought maybe it would move with it, but it's because the root motion is turned on, so hang on. There we go. If I want the camera to travel with the head, I've got to attach the camera to the head. <laughs> There's something super funny about that. Okay, that'll be perfect because then I can see his facial expressions while we're doing things now. Okay, and I just want to align the camera with the view. Oh, you know what? I regret that's the wrong camera. I meant to do the, the main camera. Align with view. Okay, and I can look up a little bit. Object, one few. <laughs> okay. Mix him up a little bit. It's really focused on his head there. Okay. Anyway, um, now if I click on the mesh for the the walking dude, I can do various things. So. There's the big eyes, idle, awkward face, cocky face. Let's uh, zoom the camera in a little more. Main camera, align with view. There we go. All right, now we'll be able to see him a little bit more. Okay, so Goofy, all the uh, blend shapes are still there because we applied the blend shapes um, before we auto-rigged it. And now they're all tweakable. So you've got an animated character, and you can utilize the blend shapes. But you have to follow the, the order specifically. You can't auto-rig and animate it and then add the blend shapes afterwards. You have to do it before. Alright. Well, I hope this helps. And thanks for watching.